Hey everyone, Jarbo here with Movie Drop Squad, here today to give you my review of Iron Man Dose, uh, one that came out a few weeks ago and I'm sure you guys have all seen or been inundated with ads, but I wanted to throw my hat in the ring as far as reviews go. Um, this film is definitely a sequel to one of the greatest comic book films of all time, of course one of the biggest films of 2008. Uh, the sequel uh, attacked, uh, you know, made it to be a lot bigger, bolder, crazier, uh, more inventive, and, and just more over the top. Um, I, I would say it, it was really trying to be like a f more fun, uh, an action-packed Dark Knight than, than the Dark Knight. Um, so this time around, we see Tony Stark. You know, he, he's admitted to being Iron Man. He's out there. He's policing the world. He's doing what he does best, and the whole time he is fighting um, the poison of the shrapnel and the arc reactor in his chest. And so he's, he's trying to find a cure, and he's, you know, dealing with the fact that Pepper Potts is, is on his ass to do more. And, uh, you know, and of course, like, he's got... Um, you know the government on his ass and everything else so he you know he's battling a lot of demons this time around and he's doing it in the way that he knows how so of course you know all the shit hits the fan whiplash who they never actually say is whiplash played by mickey Rourke, who did a pretty good job um shows up and fucks with them and then you know Rourke gets picked up by uh by by hammer played by sam rockwell to design iron man to to combat tony stark and uh you know then you have like you know natasha romanoff who is a black widow shield she shows up as uh, stark's personal assistant uh and then you'll find out later on that she's working with shield and so you know they they do their whole battle and they win um, my overall thoughts on the film was that it was a lot of fun to watch. It was a great deal of, of time and effort thought thrown in there. And it was uh, especially good throwbacks for comic fans. I thought that Downey Jr. and, and uh, Don Cheadle were excellent as a pair together. I love Cheadle as a war machine. Terrence Howard kind of, you know, he, he, he dropped the ball. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow was a lot of fun. Scarlett Johansson has a really good ass-kicking scene. Mickey Rourke was, uh, he was good. He had the look, but he didn't have the talent. He didn't really have the feel. Sam Rockwell was a lot of fun. Favreau did a great job. And Justin Thoreau wrote a great script um i really recommend this film overall it, it, it's a great escapism it's uh it's not on par with the original it's slightly below so if you ever want to do a double feature back to back you won't be disappointed i recommend this film two eight thumbs up 28 thumbs up anyway uh check out more uh facebook.com backslash flash of shorts this is jarbo i'll see you guys later bye